Look at this. Oh, wow. I have been waiting for this to bloom. This is the, uh, what is it? Midnight primrose, night blooming primrose. It's only supposed to bloom at night and I've been waiting for it. Wow, I'm glad I came out here right now. Look, there's more over there. This thing is so huge. Oh, and I actually have a ladybug. Welcome back. You guys don't know how excited I am to see this. Someone told me that the flowers weren't that spectacular, but you know what? They're gorgeous to me. These are beautiful. Oh, you're gorgeous. All right, that just made my whole day. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Look who's blooming, guys. Look at it. Oh, I am so excited. I have been waiting for this to bloom. Oh, we're gonna get more. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Wow, what a difference a day makes. I didn't come out yesterday on the Sabbath, but look what I've got today. Beautiful surprise. Hey family, so the sun is going down and I thought I would come out here and look and yep, more flowers are opening. Look at that. It is so cool. These were not open earlier. Got another one over here that opened. And we got one over there on the other side. And it's funny, these two were open earlier and as you can see, they are spent now. So apparently they only last a day. And they open in the evening and by early morning, they start to close. Let's see if I can go around to the other side. Oh, look at that, just that quickly. It is opened all the way now. Wow. Let's see if I can get to the other side. These are beautiful. So I think what I'm gonna do is I have to go inside and wash dishes because, you know, chores never end around here. And I'm gonna come back out and see just how many have opened back up. It's weird, I'm seeing all these flies that are like asleep on it. You guys see how big this thing is now? I told you guys it just seemed like it just kept growing overnight, it just sprang up. But I'm so glad that it is. And in case I didn't say the name, this is Evening Primrose. Something tells me I'm going to go inside. I'm gonna come back out. And there are gonna be so many more that have opened. As you can see, there are tons more on there.
so. Kind of procrastinating because uh, <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this and I don't want to go inside. I feel like I'm going to miss something. So, I will be right back, you guys. Try not to open anything else until I get back. All right, so I rushed to get back out here. I wanted to get back out here before it got too dark. And, um, you know, just to make sure I'm not missing anything, I really wish I could just sit out here and wait to see if anything else happens. But right now we have a raccoon roaming around at night and I really don't want to be out here when it comes through. But so far, it looks like it is just these that have opened. And I'm thinking that the rest of these little buds on here, maybe they will open by tomorrow evening. So I'm not sure. I know my granddaughter will be extremely excited. She and I both have been waiting for this plant to bloom. It's so funny because like I said earlier, someone told me that, oh, it's not that exciting. Yes, it is. It is exciting. I find it very exciting, especially because this plant was just a little flat, and I mean flat as a pancake, <laughs> little leaf, uh, just, you know, a bunch of leaves, just flat to the ground for two whole seasons. And then it just started growing like crazy like this i mean it is just i think it's about maybe five feet tall so this is pretty amazing to me so as i said before this is evening primrose this is my first time growing this and so i can't tell you from experience but i can just tell you what i've read about it and apparently this entire plant is edible not only is it edible the leaves the roots everything but it's supposed to have medicinal properties so i guess you eat the leaves the same as you would any other leafy green vegetable you do the roots like potatoes so i'm assuming they have to be cooked and uh, yeah, they're supposed to have lots of medicinal purposes. You can look them up for yourself because as I said earlier, this is my first time growing it. So I can't speak from experience, only from what I've read. So if you guys plan on growing this, you gotta be patient because I was about to dig this thing up. <laughs> I was literally coming to dig it up out of the garden when I noticed it had grown almost a foot in two days. So now I'm looking at it and like I said, that centerpiece right there is about five feet tall, maybe more because I'm 5'7 and it goes about to my nose, maybe to my eyes. And yeah, this thing just took off. Also, I read that uh, they don't transplant well. So once you plant them, you gotta kinda leave them where they are and they reseed themselves. So it's going to come back and it's gonna bring new plants with it, but it supposedly is not um, invasive. So, all right, I guess I gotta stop being like a little kid and I gotta go inside. <laughs> All right, fam, it is two days later and look at this. The sun is going down and all of these guys have just opened up. These are beautiful. I don't know why, but there's a squirrel watching me. Now he's doing like a tightrope act. Did you fall? Oh, there you go. 
up. <laughs> but look at this, all of them. They're all the way around. They are beautiful. None of these were open earlier today when I was out here. You know what? I definitely recommend growing evening primrose. But as I said, this thing is huge and it keeps getting bigger. So make sure you have space for it because right now this thing is probably about 10 feet wide. Let's say, let's see, if this branch was straight, it would be 10 feet. So I'm saying right now it's probably, yeah, I'd give it a good eight to nine feet wide. And it's taller than me now. So it's about six feet tall. And like I said, they don't transplant well. So you're gonna have to make sure that wherever you put it, it's where you want it to stay.